hundreds of years old. And they reduced it to nothing. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. I, the White Hills, need to answer for this. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious, my lord. I must say, I can't really see this going well. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. She's taken a risk in meeting. Let me hear what she has to say before I judge her reasons. Of course. Just be wary. You see what her family's done here. Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children, but this could be a trap. Keep it. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. I just feel like he can't die. Like he can't die. So, that's why I refused that. Fuck, it's frustrating how slow Roderick is. Damn White Hills. Cutting down everything they see. Do they understand nothing about Ironwood? Split beams, cracked wheels, shoddy workmanship. Clearly White Hills. Well, I remember hiding down there, playing monsters and maidens with little Naaman and uh, Megan. Hmm, <laughs> I can still smell the sawdust. <laughs> Hear the whining of the grindstone. Such a thought of my early years. So long ago. Find to be something over here. Forgive me. I... I wasn't sure what I'd find out here. Hello, Gwyn. It's... It's been so long since we've met, Roderick. It has. It was before your father found out about you and Asher. Before he stormed Ironrath. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. I have to stop this. It can't go on. I know. You have to trust me. I don't agree with my father's ways. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. Well, okay. So let us get to the business that brings us here. Yes, we should get on with it. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. How do you know about my brother? That's... part of why I'm here. But I need to know you've come for the same reasons I have. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want too? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Will you work with me? Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. Of course that's what I want. The years have blessed you with wisdom, Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? 
so there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless you let Griff feel like he's in control. Just like you kissed my father's ring. You must show the same respect to Griff. I'll put on a good face and let him think whatever he likes, if that's what I have to do. It is. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hells. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. Why are you telling me all this? Is it meant to frighten me? To make me bend the knee and bow my no, head? No, of course not. Although that's what my father wants. And he knows you can't fight him. He knows exactly how weak you are. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it. You must tell me, who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to rescue Ryan. Even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families. You have my word, Gwyn. I'll do my part. Thank you. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. Who the Remember, fuck would it be? I'll hear about it if you don't. There's only like what? Lord? Duncan there. Roderick. Come along, Duncan. Lady Forrester. The other bastard. And the maester, I, I, yeah, it's probably the maester. He does seem like the kind of slimy bastard that, you know, would do that. Mother. Roderick. Look at what's become of our house. You were nowhere to be found and they just... Oh, they are vile men. Where were you? We need you here. To hold this house together. I've uncovered some troubling news. What's wrong? Lord Whitehill is plotting against us. I don't know his plans, but I fear them. And the only way he'll stop is if we submit to Griff's rule of our house. What? Would you really give up control of our house? Griff is already a torment. How much worse could it get? I have to keep the peace with Griff, even if that means letting him have his way at times. The thought of it makes me ill. I don't like it either. Was this all? Did you learn anything more? You need to tell me. What I've told you is nothing compared to what else I've learned. There is a traitor in our house, on our council. No, this can't be. And all our plans to save Ryan, to save this house. All gone. Roderick, who could have turned on us? Times have been hard, but I never thought this would happen. I have to say, Master Ortengren worries me the most. Perhaps. But what about Roiland? Roiland? He was furious when Ethan didn't choose him as Sentinel. He wouldn't even show his face when Ramsay Snow came here. When the bastard murdered my poor son. But it's hard to say without knowing where this news came from. It's bad enough having their soldiers in our house. But if you won't be open with me, then our problems run deeper. Get in there. Go and get in there. 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 Get in
Stay cool, stay outside. Get down, get down, get get down, get down, get get down, 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 I must speak true. I haven't the balls to defy you, Lord. What is this? What are you bastards doing? Oh, look here. It's the new Lord. You're in luck. We're just getting to the best part. <laughs> Little Lord Ethan's final breath. Unless you want to play the Lord of House Forester instead. You can't do this. You can't do this. Get out of our house! Right now! <laughs> we'll do as we please. Besides, we're not finished. You must stop. I know you've seen it before, but um, it gets better every time. You want to play? Yeah, we want to play. Give me the knife. No, no, that won't do. If you won't be Ethan, you'll just have to watch and see how it's done. <laughs> oh, please, no! Say hello to your father. Oh, no, <laughs> Down. <laughs> oh, well done, well done. I'd say, I'd say, I'd say he died better than the real Ethan. <laughs> what about you, eh? You want to be next? Men without honor are lower than dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to dirty my blade with your blood. You should have seen it. Before this is over, your blood will join my brother's on that floor. So I hope this was all worth it. It'll be worth it when I pull this blade from your neck and see the life drain out your eyes. Make his right, mother watch. No more now we'll it. really have some fun. Enough. Griff will deal with him. When he's done, he'll own this fucking house. And he'll have more than just words for you. Take your boy out of here while you still can. Roderick! Roderick! Now is not the time. Fuck me, I can't wait till they all die. Wendell, pack the extra rations. Duff, make sure the quivers are full and the torches are dry. Garrod. What's happening? We're heading north of the wall to deliver justice to brothers turned traitor. They're hiding in the woods at a place called Craster's Keep. I've been looking for volunteers. The cowards murdered Commander Mormon. We're going to kill every one of them. I'll volunteer to go. I thank you for that. I need every sword I can get. But Brit's going to. He took his vows in the set. He's a brother now. I understand why you hate him. But bad blood could jeopardize this mission. Too many unknowns out there. I can't have my own men killing each other. I'll go in his place. I'm a better fighter than Brit. You'll want my sword before his. I don't doubt your skill. But I need every sword that's willing to go. Even someone like Brit. If you do come, I need to know there won't be any trouble. Even if he provokes you. Can I count on you? I need your word, Garrett. I'll be taking a chance. The mission can't fail. I'm a man of my word. I won't disappoint you. I'll hold you to that. It's a hard road to Crestus. 
We leave tomorrow at first light. Now why don't you go talk to those two? They volunteered as well. Make sure they're ready. Dorf! Where are my arrows? Well, what did Jon Snow say? I don't think he likes us much. Definitely doesn't like you, Finn. Haven't heard him singing your praises. He wants us ready for the march tomorrow. Just give the word. I'm tired of being under Frostfinger's boot all the time. You do know we're heading off to fight a band of murderers, right? That's why you bring a ranger. Point is, he doesn't want any problems with you going to Craster's. Well, there's something you should know, then. <laughs> I, uh, borrowed this from you. <laughs> what? I just got curious. I wanted to know why your uncle was here. It never ends with you. Well, didn't mean no harm, honest. I just wanted a quick look. I wasn't stealing. That's mine. Hand it back. Of course. I, I wasn't stealing. I, I was just taking a peek. But the thing is, I noticed this part here. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. A rumor. No, it's not. Of course it is. I heard it's a witch's den where they turn children into giants. Garrett, you don't actually take it seriously, do you? It's a fairy tale. For idiots. Everyone knows that. Didn't think you were that gullible. Lord Forrester knew all about it. He said it's a place of great power. Power that could save my house. And this says it's somewhere in the north. On the other side of the wall. And here I thought you might have some brains, Garrett. Don't you deserve each other. Have fun chasing your tails. Good. Didn't need him anyway. What do you mean? He doesn't know about the mammoths, or white walkers, or how to sneak past a giant. What, and you do? But you know, it's the things you hear about, the rumors is all. I wouldn't know myself. <laughs> how could I? Rumors my ass. You're hiding something, Cotter. I'm not. They're just things I hear around Castle Blacksaw. People talk, you know. You're talking shit. Not about the North Grove they done. You do? Probably heard you talking about it. Or, or maybe one of the recruits. Cotter, I know you're lying. I covered for you. You owe me. All right. All right. <clears throat> Being on the other side of the wall, got it. You see, I, I live there, in the north. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. Mm, fuck. I know. I know it's crazy. I, I was with some other free folk. We were looking for weapons south of the wall. We got caught, so. So I passed myself off as a local, and, well, well, they sentenced me here, to Castle Black, for steel. I shouldn't be here. This isn't my place. I didn't know what else to do. Cotter, you're the bloody enemy. How am I supposed to trust you now? I'm not your enemy, Garrett. I'm your friend. Or at least I thought I was. Are we... We still friends. Yeah. I know it's a lot to take in. Don't worry. Bloodthirsty wildling or not, we're still brothers. That is good to hear. <laughs> Doesn't matter because at the end of the day, Garrett's gonna get absolutely Cutter! crucified what did I say? for you fixed is still leaving the watch right anyway. I'm going back home, no matter what, Garrett. I've heard stories, old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. You know where the North Grove is? No, but I'll help you find it. I'm deserting anyway, heading back home. I can guide you, keep you alive. Stick with me and I'll show you the way. Plenty of things out there when I kill you. All right. 
Even if you are a bloodthirsty wildling. I won't let you down. Cut her! Now! Uh, on the way! Please, don't tell anyone about me. The watch would kill me if they found out. Is that who I think it is? Would you look at the size of this army? Seems the Targaryen girl may take the city soon enough. Hey. Here somewhere. You're right. No, it fucking hurts, Asha. And I've been through shit. Sliced, stabbed, beaten, had my face clawed off. But this bloody dragon. Well, at least you don't smell half as bad as you did a day ago. I'll go and find this Croft. Look, Asha, back in that cave. What happened? It was him or me, right? You must have thought only one of us was making it out. It's not fair to ask. I know, it's fucking brutal. But there you go. You don't flinch from anything. I knew you could handle yourself. My uncle, on the other hand. <sighs> Fuck. I just... I thought... Forget it. Doesn't matter. This is stupid. I'm so sorry. Look, I am. You're my friend. My partner. My sister. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That's horse shit, little brother. You're going home. I understand. Your house. Your family. But there's nothing for me with you in Westeros. I'll help you get your army, and then... I'm done. Beska! I... I don't Asha. understand. I know where Croft is. This Croft... How well do you know him? Too, Too well. well. I thought you said you were friends. Yeah, we are. We are. Great friends. Asha fucking Forrester. Son of a poxy. <laughs> you have some balls walking into my tent after all these years with that mama's monkey grin on your face. Well, that went well. All right, maybe I deserve that. That's not even a taste of what you deserve. You never understood consequences, Asher. One stupid mistake cost me an eye. But you never learned. You figured you'd steal from me and I'd just forgive you? <laughs> Not a fucking chance. So how are you going to pay me back? Your eye? For fuck's sake. Your hand? Or how about your tongue? Cough, no! Be reasonable. I am reasonable! I'm letting him fucking choose. My hair could use a trim. Take some off the top, would you? Do not fucking test me! Croft, I deserve your anger as much as Asha. Don't worry, Beska. You're next. Now choose, or I slice off your balls, Asha. <laughs> hey, A hey, man hey! betrays my trust. There's a Stop price this. to be Let paid. him go! Enough! No more fucking about! You fucking bastard. Take my eye, then. I don't need two to kill you. Done. <laughs> Oh, that was bloody beautiful. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snowbear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> Joden, the Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from your guy. <clears throat> we have a proposition for you. We? 
You're hardly the usual rabble these two travel with. Your sword was always the quickest, Croft. I need you and your men to fight for me in Westeros. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. I'm buying a hobby's tip. Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. My house is rich, Croft. When this war is won, I'll pay you. More gold than you've ever seen. <laughs> Lord Asher! A fucking highborn thief! Not a chance in seven hells would I believe a promise from you. Now, just a minute, he speaks the truth. Aye. Well, it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Her enemies are leading children up on post for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. Ha! <laughs> Unfucking likely. You expect me to believe you just happened to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Orange eyes, as big as my head, scales all black. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. We're done here, Asher. You two back in my life. I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. If you're lying about this... Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. The beast's name is Drogon. She'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. <laughs> <laughs> uh.